Okay. A couple of questions. Yeah, please. Go ahead. Sir, you just spent the better part of an hour explaining why Americans should choose you and not your opponent. Yesterday, you said on Twitter, be careful what you wish for. I guess the question is, do you see yourself as the underdog in this race? Do you see yourself losing in the fall? No, I don't. I think we have really good poll numbers. Uh, they're not suppression polls. They're real polls. You look at the uh, intercoastal in Florida. You look at the lakes. You see thousands of boats with Trump signs, American signs. You've got the Trump-Pence sign all over. You look at what's going on. You look at bikers for miles and miles riding up highways proudly with their signs. Uh, I have — look, we won a race where it was the same thing, 2016. We had polls that were fake. They turned out to be fake. Not all. A couple of them got it right. Three of them, to be exact. Three of them. One of them was unsuspecting. But uh, they got it right. They were very proud of it. But. Uh, we had in 2016 uh, something even more so, but we got in and we had 306 to, I guess, 223, which was a tremendous margin of difference. You remember, they all said he cannot get to 270. I went to Maine a number of times where we just freed up lobster fishing and fishing. Just, they took away 5,000 square miles from Maine. I just opened it up and I just got rid of tariffs in China. And we're working on European Union, which charge our fishermen tariffs. And I said, you're not going to do that. So we freed it up for Maine. But if you take a look, we went up there recently. There were crowds, thousands of people lined up going over to a factory where we were opening up for — we're making swabs, a beautiful, big, new factory making swabs. I think that the enthusiasm now is greater and maybe far greater than it was in 2016. I think a lot of people don't want to talk about it. I think they're not going to say, hey, I'm for Trump, I'm for Trump. They don't want to go through the process. And I fully understand that, because the process is not fair. The media doesn't treat us fairly. They never have, and perhaps they never will. But maybe they will when we turn this around for a second time. And it's going to happen very quickly. When we turn it around for a second time, maybe they will. Uh, I think we're doing very well in the polls. And I think you have a, a silent majority, the likes of which this country has never seen before. Uh, this is a very important election. We've done a great job. We had to turn it off, as I said. Turn it off, and now we've started it again. As you know, they announced two weeks ago record job numbers, almost 5 million people. And that beat the last month, which was also a record, 2.8 million people. Nobody's ever done what we've done, and now we're doing it twice. And I think by Election Day, you're going to see some incredible numbers. The third quarter is going to be really good. Uh, fourth quarter is going to be great. But next year is going to be one of the best economic years. So hopefully, I'll be able to uh, be the president where we say, look at the great job I did.